Okay, let's head over to Cricket South Africa now, where boardroom antics continue to overshadow action on the pitch. Cricket director Ompile Ramela has lost an application against the organization at the High Court. This after the interim board resolved to remove him as a director. The former cricketer joins us now alive. Very good morning to you, Ompile. Now, just a quick update from you. The last time we spoke to you, the interim board had pretty much iced you out. Have you still been left out of their meetings since the dismissal? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Nandi. I have indeed been left out of the meetings, as you've highlighted. And I think you also make a very good point that uh, board matters has continued to overshadow what's on the field. But I have made an application to the High Court, as you outlined at the beginning. And whilst that deals with my removal from the board, it also focuses sharply on the conduct of the board because I'm also bringing into question some of the legalities pertaining to how we've conducted ourselves. And I think that will be in sharp focus at the High Court. Umbile, there are two legal bodies on the interim board, Judge Yakub and Judith February. Don't you think that, you know, as legal bigwigs, they would have done their research and their homework before dismissing you? I think the High Court will really show um, what I'm bringing forward. And I think we should not always be appealing to people's reputation and histories when it comes to these matters. We must allow the law to unfold and take its course. And I think you're quite right that one would have expected them to actually approach these matters mm. with enough vigor and with consistency and thorough application when it comes to the law. And I've been bringing these into sharp question. And I think the High Court is a very good place for all of us to ventilate these issues. Yeah, I want to stick with the decision to, to remove you. Do you think it was a unanimous decision or more pushed for by certain people within the organization? And Nandi, to avoid speculation, yeah. I think it's, it's neither here nor there to speculate as to whether it was pushed by certain decisions. But I think the record speaks for itself as to who voted and who didn't vote and why they did and why they didn't. Mm. But I think what we should be focusing on, what we should be concerned about, is what's in those papers. And those papers are very clear about the conduct and the alleged, con or the alleged misconduct of the board. And I think that should be bring brought into question whether the best interests of the game are being preserved. Yeah. Um, in your statement, you do mention that you have concerns for the game of cricket. Are you then against any specific decisions made by the interim board? Because they have been quite decisive in the past couple of months. Yeah, I think um, in the papers will outline what decisions I've challenged. Yeah. And I haven't challenged them because they necessarily suit me. I've challenged them because I think legally we haven't been watertight. I think we've, um, there's too many question marks around a lot of those decisions I've challenged. And I think those decisions are not in the best interest of cricket uh, by their majority. And I think um, once this process unfolds, I think if people get hold of those papers and read them for themselves, they can, they can actually have a look and say, what is happening with the state of cricket and particularly its governance? Yeah, Pile, the interim board has said that they are hoping to finish their work by at least mid-February. This is according to Judge Yacoub. So, you know, given the short time frame, I mean, mid-February is just around the corner. What are you hoping to achieve with this application and the statement? Well, I think what I'm hoping to achieve is to show that the conduct has not been um, at the level at where it needs to be given the quality and the caliber of people we have uh, that come, um, and, and the leaders and the directors in that board, we should be expecting a higher bar for ourselves and we should be setting a much better standard for governance in South Africa. And I've brought that into question. And I think if we allow the, the legal system to ventilate that, and if we allow people to be subjected, subject themselves to questioning, because if they're that confident that they've been watertight legally, there shouldn't be an issue subjecting themselves to a legal process. So yeah. I'm hoping that, one, people can see that the administration is in question and some of the questions actually need to be dealt with decisively. Umpile, um, just lastly from me, you know, you've said before that you don't think that Minister Natim Tetwa should be involved with the ongoings at CSA. Do you still stand by that? I still stand by that, uh, Nandi. I think the minister has done his bit to intervene to allow cricket to get to a much better state. Uh, what he didn't have control of is how people would conduct themselves when they get onto this board. And I think that should be ventilated through the, the legal system. That's our best place of recourse. I think he has done his bit in compiling the board and trying to actually intervene and guide CSA towards a better place. All right, thank you very much, Umpile. We will leave it there. That was Cricket Director Umpile Ramela.